Yo, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? It's me, the Bolt the Bear, and we are back with another build request video. But before we get into it, make sure to slap a like on the video, sub if you want to. It helps me understand what you guys want to see more of. And my goal by the end of the year is 1K, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys help me get there. But before we stay in there too long, we're going to hop into what the build is. We have Whispers. Sporadically hear the entities whisper when standing within a 32 meter range of a survivor. Interesting on Xenomorph. Kind of curious to see how that plays out and excited to see how it plays out at the same time. Crazy good end game and uh, beginning game perk on most killers that don't have much knowledge at the beginning of the match. And then second perk is going to be Grim Embrace. Each time a survivor is hooked for the first time, gain a token. When moving 16 meters away from the hook, all generators are blocked for 10 seconds. Upon reaching four tokens, when moving 16 meters away from the hook, the entity instead blocks all generators for 40 seconds. The Obsession's Aura is revealed to you for six seconds. Then Grim Embrace, Embrace deactivates. Now, we have Bamboozle. I love when people put chase perks in here. Your vault speed is 15% faster. Performing a vault action calls upon the entity to block that lo vault location to survivors for 16 seconds. Only one vault location may be blocked in this way at any time does not affect pallets. Then we have Scourge Hook Pain Resonance. At the start of the trial, four random hooks are changed into Scourge Hooks. You can see their auras in white. You start the trial with four tokens, one for each survivor. If a generator is available when the survivor is hooked on a Scourge Hook, lose one token. The generator with the most progress explodes, instantly losing 20% progress and will start to regress. Once you have no tokens, Pain Resonance deactivates for the rest of the trial. That leads us into our add-ons. We have Harpoon Gun, exiting a tunnel and hitting a survivor within 10 seconds causes all survivors further than 24 meters for you to scream and reveal their location. And then we have Self-Destruct Bolt, increases vault speed by 30% while in crawler mode. Super excited to try this one out. For the offering, I chose Putrid Oak. Calls upon the entity to considerably decrease the chance uh, between sacrifice. Sorry. Decrease the distance between sacrificial hooks appearing in the world. I thought this would play a pretty good part with a uh, pain res so hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy and i will see you in the matches all right let's go we got xenomorph on mount ormond with a pretty interesting build we got pain res we got grim embrace we got bamboozle and we got whispers whispers is probably the one i'm most interested in we're already getting it to go off Whispers can really help you out in a pinch at early game and end game. Though, that's what uh, the footprints and stuff are for. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that early, too. Yeah, Whispers really helps out early game and end game on killers that don't really have much to go off of in terms of, like, where to find people. That was actually, like, I, the, if you're wondering why I went for her, um, she's obviously not. She wasn't AFK for too long. She literally had... Um, one of the flamethrowers in her hand. So we're going to get some uh, Grim Embrace value and leave. I think there was somebody over here, maybe? I, I'm, I could be wrong. I, I might have seen things. I, I don't know what I was looking at. <laughs> but we get a nice early down. And they don't get this heal, which is great. I mean, we're going to go after Meg anyway, because, like, with this kind of build, the, the objective isn't to tunnel. But this kind of... I know a lot of people say, like, that's the best way to get value out of Pain Res. I disagree. I think the best way to get value out of Pain Res and Grim Embrace together is to not... Uh, I think now would be a good time to actually get... Ooh, she almost got me, dude. She almost got me. Yeah, I think now would be a great time to get uh, the score joke. Uh, unless she blocks it, which she probably would have gotten her off my shoulder if she actually took a hit, but that's okay. We'll get another stack of Grim Embrace, and we should get a hit here, right? No, she makes it to the pallet, and she's gonna drop. She really doesn't want to take a hit. We're gonna divert Chase, because we found Lara. Unfortunately for Lara. What was that? Woo! Get the pickup. 
Oh no, I hear somebody coming. Ooh, that was close. Oh, you have no room to talk, Sable. You ain't got no room to talk, Sable. We'll throw her in the basement. This is going to be a hard recovery for these guys. These guys are just, like, not having a good time over here. We've already used our Grim and Bray, so that's, we don't really have to uh, worry about that. But I'm going to head towards the center of the map. Mainly because I want to give them a chance to get Lara. Lara hasn't had a, a very fun game so far. <laughs> I'm just saying. Alright, we'll go around, see what we got. I think if, if you go for that pallet, you don't make that. I was thinking you had dead hard just from the way that you were uh, looking behind you like that. Alright, we'll put her up on the hook. Boop. Uh, kick this. So far, we've hooked the same person, the same two people. I would like to find somebody new. If I could find, like, Nancy or uh, Sable, it'd be lovely. Hey, Sable. Sable. All right, she's she holding. She's holding in her uh, sprint bird. Nice. She tried to fade. We did fine. And we, now we got the Bam Bam. Oh, that is unfortunate. Bam Bam with self-destruct bolt. You're not getting it. Never. You're not getting that ever. You hear me? Now we're going to use a stack of your uh, pain res. And boop. There we go. Oh, Lara, you poor thing. Now you're not going to be able to use the window. Oh, that was, that was actually smart. She can't use the window. Maybe somebody comes in and takes a hit for her. I don't think they will, though. And unfortunately for Lara, she's out of the game. And I don't think we get a st I don't think we get her stack either. We don't get her stack of pain res, which sucks. But we didn't really need it. This is why I don't really like running super meta on, uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I don't like, I don't really like running super meta on Xenomorph because Xenomorph is pretty strong already. And when we, uh, well, that was, that's a really good spot for that turret. Uh, when you use meta, like good meta on Xenomorph, it tends to make the matches kind of not long. Or I shouldn't say not long. I should say uh, not very. It, it's it's not a good match for the survivors. We'll fake that. We'll fake that. And I think she had live. Yeah. We just gave her a double a double stack of speed. Which is all right. We got the hit. She doesn't have an exhaustion anymore. She ate the hit. I hear them working over there. That's okay. Um, she doesn't get this. And Nancy's down. Another person running, running. Oh, it's Sable again. Hi, Sable. Hi, Sable. And we have a score hook over here that we can make. So we should get our final stack of regression. And we have Grim Embrace, so. That's not going to be good for them. They're going to be in for a not great time. I see Sable running up the stairs. That's okay. I'm going to come around here and drop. She went around. Okay. So, Sable's here. Um, She stayed here. And she died here. That's okay. We just give her a little... We, we give her a little look, you know? I do like her name. Eight to go. Makes me think of uh, Nell from Bleach, and I don't know if that's what they were going for or not. Okay. Pop back in the tunnel. 
and we come back to center, that is, they're chilling. They're chilling, dude. They're chilling over here, and I don't know what's happening. Okay, they're running towards that. Um. Hello, Nia. I haven't seen you in a long time. Did you just have sprint burst? Is that a sprint burst? I heard, I see. These guys got like nothing though. Nothing left over here. That's probably the strongest area of the map, and they have nothing left. They got a turret back here still? I don't think so. Oh, that was a good play. I had a good play too, though. You know, mine involved perks, so. <laughs> All right, she's running here. We should be able to close the game out here. Well, she does make a pallet though, so. All right, she's gonna drop that. Um, she, um, she's she's probably gonna be expecting me to shoot the tail, so I'm just gonna go for an M1. And we hit the pallet. And that should be game. Yeah, it should not. It should be an easy end game with uh, whispers. So GGs, guys. G. All right, we got family residence with the xenomorph. Fun. This this build was fun. I've been using it for a little bit now, and uh, it's gotten some pretty good results. Let's see if we can keep that up. Let's see if we can't keep that up. Oh, Whispers is so nice, because if they're not moving, you, you can just, like... Okay. If they're not moving, you can just go. Go places, because you know they're within the general vicinity of it. So we go right back in the tunnel. We took out that pallet. That's all. We don't want to stay in chase too long uh, after getting stunned like that. We don't have chase perks. Alright, we'll take that. Um... I'm gonna kind of, I'm chilling here because she doesn't expect us to have Bam Bam, and we do have Bam Bam, and she's not taking the pallet, so we're gonna take the hit, and she's gonna cross the map. Okay, that's fine by me. That is fine by me. This setup's kind of gross. Oh, I got stuck, bro. I got stuck. Okay. Um, not sure what you were doing there. Yeah. I think she was trying to cook too much. We're definitely going to use our spore jump now, though. We, we need to. Spore jump needs to, needs to go now. Okay. Then we get Grim Embrace. And we... Ooh, somebody's... Is somebody AFK? Yeah, dude, what's up with the AFKs, dude? The Q times are not good enough for that, okay? Q times, Q times are not good enough for AFK. Oh, I don't know why I didn't didn't see her up there. And she's got the new cosmetic. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get up. We're gonna throw you on the hook. Should I waste your uh should I waste your sporge now? Yeah, I think so. Just in case. Just in case she gives up or anything, dude. If she gives up, we can still uh we still got some value out of it. And we got our uh well we were always gonna get our grim embrace from that. Right, where did you guys get off to? You hear me? Where'd you get off to? Huh? Where you at? Where are you? Alright, we got Nancy over here. Nancy seems to be a solid player. She does... I thought i seen somebody over here, but I think it was just a stray piece of grass or something. Uh, yeah, and we, we lose Nancy because of my, my squirrel brain. We lose Nancy because of my squirrel brain, dude. That's okay, though. That's okay. We got 
two at five. It's all right. It's all right, guys. We're not we're not in a rush or anything. We're not trying to get somebody out of the game as fast as possible. No. Why would we ever do that? No, no. It's okay. Um, I did see somebody just leave this though. Is that Nancy? It's Nancy again. She's quiet too. I think she has iron will. Oh, I see a turret being put down. Or is put down. That's funny. I, I wonder if that scared the shit out of her. Because she like... I see Nancy rotating the outside of the map. Iron Will has really get, given survivors like Iron Will brain. Alright, that's fine. Let me get that out of the way. She's just debuting to all of the fun spots. Whoa. Cut that off. Ooh, she's she's. Hmm. All right, she messed up. There's no way she makes that rotation. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way she makes that rotation. We did let them have a gen though. It took us way too long to get that third down. It took us way too long to let to get that third down. But we get another stack of uh, pain rest and. Grim Embrace. These delay get these delay perks for Xenomorph are very nasty. Oh, and she had uh there's no reason to go back for deliverance in my opinion. Uh because odds are somebody running deliverance is running off the record. Probably um DS too. And they will just waste so much of your time. Uh, all right, Nancy's just gone. Let's see if we can't cut her off. Uh, this the iron will will just make people leave you. So like the the playstyle with it, she's probably back around the other side. Um, the playstyle with iron will. This is why I don't like it 100. percent It's the same reason I don't like spring burst, dude. Because it, it's a very selfish bird. Hi. Mm -hmm. Um, and it encourages, it encourages you, you to, like, stay hidden and stuff and be lost in chases, and that's a problem. That means that they will potentially leave you and go for more vulnerable teammates, which might actually slow the game. I understand not wanting to be in chase. Not everybody likes to chase, right? Um, but... Stealth gameplay and gameplay that involves like holding W and stuff like that um, is is I don't think is good is good for the team as a whole because it uh it incentivizes the killer to go after other people. What's up, Alan? I, you're the one I actually need. So uh, this is actually pretty good here. You're the one I need for Grim Embrace and Pain Res, bro. All right, can we get this? Is he gonna try? Yep. Yeah, but that's just my that's my opinion on it. Obviously, it's not fact or anything like that. That's just how I feel. I feel like those perks um, end up making teams lose more often because it makes me leave chases more often and go after other people that have maybe already been hooked or um, are in a more vulnerable state. I hear Nancy. And she doesn't... Yeah. She's so quiet, dude. And she's out of the game now. Oh, wow. They, if she would actually wiggle, um, there would be... There would have been nothing I could have done. And boop. Nancy is out of the game. Uh, hello? What are we, what are we doing here? Uh, I can't find whoever this was. They, what'd they do? Speed walk out of here? What, what are we doing here? They, you just like, I'm, I think I'm going to stay, I think I'm going to stay over here. I'm just going to leave. We stealth gaming? 
Oh, 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 hold on a second. Yeah, I, I wanted her to, I wanted her to think that I didn't see that little, the little bright cosmetic. And you're out of the game too, unfortunately. Look at that bolt speed. Look at that bolt speed from Bamboozle and uh, the self-destruct bolt. Not too much value out of the harpoon gun in any of the matches, but it is what it is. It's not in my playstyle. I I still I, I still don't think it's terrible. I don't know. Alright, now comes the portion where we have to find Fung and Allen. And with whispers. Fine, that's fine. He's gonna hold W. That that's great because that's actually a terrible point for him. That's good for him because that's actually a terrible palette for him, uh, him to be at. I don't think you cooked here, bud. I don't think you cooked here. Yeah, I think you should have. Uh, I, I think you should have played the pallet, man. Alright, we'll put him up on the hook. Look for Fong. We'll kick this. Uh, not not really much to not really much to do outside of just take care of some of the pro like things laying around the map. Um, maybe she'll come in and get him. I'm not sure. This is the part I hate is when there's two people left and we're just doing trade offs. It's kind of the worst part about it. Oh, red scratches, and we see Fong. I think Alan's still trying to chase us. She got super wiggly. <laughs> Yeah, she. <laughs> I thought she had dead heart. That's why she was wiggling. Sorry for getting silent there for a second. I was like kind of focused. Um. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll hit you, but we're definitely going after Alan. Listen, I know you have DS. Can you just leave me alone? Uh. Uh, where did, where did he go? Damn, man. This is, <laughs> do they all have Iron Will? He just vanished. That's all right. Uh, we don't have anything on Whispers, so I guess we just roam around until we get something on Whispers, right? That's the best part about it, with having Whispers on right now. Uh, nothing over here. Nothing. Oh, I just saw a crow fly over here. And Whispers is back up. It's good. Ah, there you are, bud. There you are. Come here, Alan. And boop. And I know Fung was over here somewhere. So... Yeah. You just done, Fung? He's done. All right. That's a 4K. She gave it to me, though. Never thought about it, but Sport Hooks got buffed with the uh, most recent, recent patch, too. Since uh, Hooks come back, um, killing someone in a Sport Hook no longer takes it away from you, which is pretty... Uh, I think that's pretty good. It's a small buff. So, GG's, guys. That was a good match. GG's. 
right, guys. So those were the matches. I hope you enjoyed them. They weren't too bad. Like I was saying in one of them, I actually enjoyed using this build quite a bit. But the problem I have with uh, kind of meta uh, builds on Xenomorph is that it tends to just demolish survivors. Xenomorph is really good in chase. And then if you can slow the slow the game down a bit, um, yeah, it's not it's not a good time for the survivors. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. I, I thought the build was cool, and I enjoyed their description of it. Uh, I'll probably have it somewhere in the video, probably in the intro of how they described what they were thinking about going into the build. But as always, make sure to slap a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Sub if you want to. It helps me, and it helps me understand what you guys want to see more of. And did you happen to tell anybody that uh, my goal is 1K by the end of the year? No? You should probably do that. All right, guys. Peace out. Stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your day, nights, evenings, whatever time it is for you. My dogs are barking. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.